Kia ora, I'm Sam Realstone here with my thoughts on the latest in the Hellboy franchise, Hellboy the Crooked Man. Directed by Brian Taylor and based on the 2008 comic story of the same name, the film follows the titular Hellboy, played by Jack Kessie, as he is thrust into the Appalachian Mountains with his BPRD colleague Joe, played by Adeline Rudolph. There they discover a coven of witches are terrorising the nearby locals at the behest of a supernatural entity known as the Crooked Man. I've always been a big fan of Hellboy from the Guillermo del Toro films that came out when I was a kid. The lore and look of the character appealed to me a lot. So, when they said they were going to make another Hellboy movie following the failed reboot in 2019, I was cautiously excited. And I'm happy to say I had a lot of fun with this. It's got a much different feel than the Del Toro films in the 2019 reboot, which dealt more with big picture and end of the world kind of stuff. This feels like a random little Hellboy story in an ongoing comic run. You get thrown right in the middle of an adventure and a drip fed info. And it's very self contained. By the end, you feel like a sequel would be like another episode in a TV show Hellboy fighting another monster of the week. Jack Kessie as the titular demon is pretty good. He has a nice gruffness to him and interesting physicality and stands out from the previous iterations enough. I really liked how he has these little sayings and a vocab that's fun and playful. It shows a lot of personality for the character and is probably indicative of the fact that Hellboy creator Mike Mignola was involved in writing the script. Adeline Rudolph as Joe, an original character not from the comics, is a good addition. Once again, you get drip-fed background info about her which informs her arc across the movie, which was satisfying if a tiny bit predictable. We also have Jefferson White who plays Tom, one of the locals who has a history with the Crooked Man. He's an interesting character with an intensity that is played well by White and definitely stands out against the other characters. This core trio guides the story and was a really fun group. They feel like a D&D party investigating a mystery in a spooky town. Tom is the ranger slash warlock, Joe is a wizard, and Hellboy is of course a barbarian. It definitely leans more spooky and scary compared to other Hellboy adaptions, so it may not be for everybody, but I enjoyed the macabre, almost Lovecraftian take. Though the jump scares got old for me, personally. They're just a bit cheap. On a budget of $20 million, I reckon they did pretty well. It feels pulpy and scrappy like a raggedy paperback comic that's been loved and worn. And everything feels tangible. Don't get me wrong, there's definitely some ropey CGI, but the locations and sets feel tactile. Maybe it's just because of a lot of exposure to green screen heavy film nowadays, but the human eye knows. It feels like there's a lot of texture on screen because everything's real. Though it was a bit hard finding a screening because it only got a limited release and is already on streaming overseas, if you do get a chance to see it on a big screen, I recommend you do for sure. Absolutely worth the price of admission.